Welcome, my name is Chloe and in this video I will show you how to run a forward modeling from your initial 3D GeoModeler project to be compared with geophysical surveys. You will find in a previous video named Introduction GeoModeler 2012 how we use the software to create a 3D geological model of a project called Bookman Syncline. When you open GeoModeler, this is the interface of the software. Now I will open the Bookman Syncline project. So the Bookman Syncline project is a syncline structure crossed by a fault network and covered by quaternary sediments. The model has been built based on a geological map that you can see over here and drill holes information. In the same geological area, we had available a gravity and magnetic airborne survey. So we used your modeler to import as a mesh grid object those two grids. So if I open one of these grids, I can plot the gravity, for example, gravity survey grid in 2D and in 3D. So if I hide the geological map, you can see in your 2D viewer the gravity response of this geology and on your right hand side you can see the same grid on a draped surface. So the next step is to run a forward modeling based on the 3D geological model we built with GeoModeler and compare with this gravity survey. The first step of the forward modeling is to populate the properties of each formation in your geological model. So you can attribute a magnetic, thermal, seismic, as well as gravity properties for each formation of the 3D geological model. So all the formations of your model are listed in this window. By double-clicking on one of the formations, you can change the number of the density attributed to this formation. So you can change the 2.4 by 2.8 for example and when you are happy with your number you can close this window and do the same step for every other formation you need to change density so when you have populated the formation all the formation you can close the window and start to run the forward modeling the forward modeling tool is located under geophysics so you open a wizard where you're gonna the software are gonna attribute a case number to each forward modeling you will run. In this window you can then decide uh, which component of the gravity or magnetic you want to compute, which is gravity tensor, magnetic full tensor as well as vertical gravity and TMI. When you have selected all the components of your tensor and gravity you want to compute the forward modeling, you can go to the next step, which is import the gravity observed gravity survey into your forward modeling. So the one we just plot in the 2D window. Then you can compute your forward modeling on constant elevation, on a draped surface if it's available, or on your topo surface topography. So once you have selected, for example, constant elevation, you can go on the next window so in this window you define the resolution of your voxet your geological model is going to be transformed as a voxet model and this is where you enter the size of each cell size of your voxet and the number in each direction so then you have the choice of running your forward modeling in a spatial domain which will take longer but is more accurate or in a Fourier domain which is quicker to compute but is less accurate. So when you have decide you can click on next. This window is a list of all your formation and this is where you can change again the densities of your formation if you're not happy with what you entered previously. You also have to define the reference density and the above topography density which will do the difference between a free air gravity 
response and a terrain corrected res gravity response. When it's done, click on next and this is the final step where you run your forward modeling by clicking on finish. So if you do click on finish and wait for your forward modeling to run, you can obtain a new case in your directory. You can see each case corresponds to one run of the forward modeling in your project directory over here. If we have a look on one of these cases, you will have a folder called run and this is where you're going to have your calculate gravity grid and your observed gravity grid. So the calculate gravity grids come from your 3D geological model and the observed is the one we did plot in the 2D viewer previously that you can see over here. So you can also use GeoModeler to visualize those two grids and the result of your forward modeling. So you can see here I listed the same case in your project and if I open one of them you can see on the left hand side you've got your observed gravity grid on your right hand side you've got the calculate gravity grid from your 3D geological model and in the middle the misfit between those two grids you can use the result of your forward modeling to compare if your 3D geological model is producing the same gravity response than in the sur gravity survey if it's not, you still can run a stochastic inversion of your 3D geological model to reduce the misfit. I hope this video will have helped you to run a forward modeling with GeoModeler 2012. And thank you for your listening.